welcome in on this Tuesday. You're watching First Shift. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Coming up, what Auto Forecast Solutions has to say about the microchip shortage's future. But first, your morning headlines. After blowback from suppliers, Chrysler parent company Stellantis will revert back to 2021 terms and conditions. That, according to a copy of the letter obtained by Automotive News affiliate Crane's Detroit Business. It's a victory for suppliers that have watched their top and bottom lines bleed amid supply chain issues while automakers haul in profits. Sticking with Stellantis, consumers paid an average of more than $60,000 for a Ram pickup in Q1. And Jeep's average transaction price jumped 29% year over year. Overall, according to TrueCar, Stellantis saw its transaction prices rise 21% in Q1 to nearly $53,000. The industry overall saw a 16% increase. In EV news, Hyundai Kia is passing its Japanese rivals in combustion engine technology. The South Korean automaker is now number two in U.S. EV registrations for the first three months of the year. Jessica Caldwell, executive director of Insights at Edmunds, says, quote, Hyundai and Kia's new EVs are shaping up as a boon to their hopes of establishing dominance at the still early stages of the EV market share race. For this week's Technology Tuesday report, Auto Forecast Solutions warns how a short-term slowdown in semiconductor-related cuts should not be taken as a sign that the microchip shortage is ending. For the first time in months, North American assembly plants did not add vehicles to their long list of production schedule cuts caused by the global microchip shortage. This was according to the latest weekly estimate by Auto Forecast Solutions. It also says factories in Europe, China, South America, the Middle East and Africa also held firm on their production plan. But the global total of vehicle cuts nonetheless rose by about 26,400 units because of chip shortages affecting assembly lines in Asia, outside of China. Despite the sudden leveling off after a year and a half of production trims, the shortage is still widely expected to continue denting schedules for the remainder of the year and beyond. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you Wednesday morning.